children need contact with both their parents. In a sense, children know that they are half of each of you. And if you cut off contact from one parent, they tend to feel cut in half. They also tend to feel that there must be something wrong with them. Half of them is wrong. If you're angry at one parent or the other parent, um, they take it personally and they feel it. And they very much need the approval of both parents. Um, parents are different. What you bring to a relationship, what you bring to a family is different. Um, and the gender actually does matter. Dads bring something different from, what, from, from mums. And therefore, although absolutely that a single parent can really do a fantastic job, be there for a child, the child will be missing the other half. However well they do develop, this is not in any way to denigrate or to run down single parents, but the other parent is important to the child. So it is actually vital for both parents to cooperate. They may have an argument, they may still be angry with each other. Put that aside for the sake of the child and let in the other parent that, um, that may not be living with them. There are lots of ways that parents can keep in touch, even if they're not living full-time with a child. You can mobile phone, you can text, you can message, you can send postcards. Um, there are lots of ways to just keep saying, I'm here for you, um, and I'm going to be there, you know, whenever you actually need me, I can keep in contact. And to make contact visits something that, you know, you don't interfere with them. However much you may be angry with the other person, Maybe you have it out with them, but you don't actually let it affect their opportunity to have the access to that child, or rather that child's access to their other parent.